Okay, so good afternoon. So I am, uh, of course, your professor, your instructor in this uh, subject. So this is combustion engineering. No? Combustion, makalimot ko sa code. Ang sa code, ano? M-E? 3215, mong gura, sir. 3215. Assuming sakto, no? Mao, mao? Everybody, is that the correct yes, code? Yes, sir, mao, sir. Okay, so MA3215 is combustion engineering. So long, long time ago, the name of this subject is known as internal combustion engine. Combustion engine or ICE, no? But ICE, internal combustion engine, no? That is the... Uh, old name for this subject but uh, because the combustion we are talking here is not simply involved in the combustion that occurs inside the cylinder no of, uh, of uh, uh, internal combustion engine we are also talking with external combustion for example of a boiler no because the boiler uses furnace no furnace to heat up the steam still part of combustion so that is why it is renamed to the uh, uh, the new name, no? combustion engineering. So in this uh, subject, combustion engineering, we will discuss with, of course, we will begin with fuel. Then we will follow with combustion. Okay. So fuel and combustion involve chemistry, no? uh, the reaction between fuel and air plus heat to produce combustion. So these are the very first topics of combustion engineering is that you need to know what is fuel and how combustion occurs and what uh, what substances no, are needed to produce combustion. So after fuels and combustion, we will now enter the, the, uh, the uh, realm of internal combustion engine, which will start with the, the spark plug or the gasoline. No? Or gasoline engine or auto, no, using auto cycle. Okay, using or auto cycle, using auto. Okay, so that is the start. Then uh, we will uh, proceed with a uh, uh, diesel engine, which is the compression compression ignition using the force of compression to ignite the air fuel mixture instead of using a spark plug. Compression, combustion, combustion engine. Of course, ang gagamit din nga cycle is the using diesel cycle. Okay. So after uh, the auto, and then the diesel cycle, we will proceed with dual cycle. So dual cycle uses both the auto cycle and using uh, combined auto and diesel cycle. Actually it's auto and diesel cycle combined that is uh, known as dual cycle. Then we will uh, discuss with Sterling, Sterling cycle. So, okay. So using the Sterling cycle, no? the Sterling engine using the Sterling cycle. Then we will discuss with, uh, we will discuss with uh, Brighton. Brighton or Jet. Jet engine, right? Uh, jet engine using Brighton cycle. Jet engine or bright using Brighton cycle. Using using Brighton cycle. Okay, so these are the things we will discuss in the combustion engineering. So most of these things will come out in the board exam. 
So I uh, hope you will listen to the discussion. No? So with no further ado, we will start with fuels. Okay, fuels is a substance that is used to react with air plus heat, which produces the combustion rea reaction. No? So of course, example of fuels like LPG sa yung balay, butane, no? parang tag sa tindahan. Those are fuels. Those are substances that is made to react with air with the ignition of heat, which produces the release of energy. No? Okay, so fuels are classified into three classifications. Classifications of fuel. So first of the classification of fuel is solid fuel. So when from the word itself solid means it is it has distinct shape, no? It is hard. Of course, what described a solid is no principal component of a solid fuel is carbon, carbon itself. The element carbon is the principal component of the of the koan the si panganan eh? the solid fuel no example example of solid fuels are coal okay uh, we have wood charcoal no so those it is you know daghan pa na. so those are examples of solid fuel no like nakagamit ng kahoy no sa pagluto siguro no katong mga dili rich kid baka to mga dili rich kid na, nakagamit na gitog kahoy no maghaling or uling no maghaling kay magsugbo og isda no or something like that so we have the second classification of fuel which is liquid fuel of course very familiar with liquid fuel because it is very expensive today no gasoline diesel no? so the principal component component of of kanang liquid fuels are hydrocarbon so hydrocarbon are carbon in notation CNHM so methane ethane propane octane so those uh, compounds which has uh, or molecules which has carbon and hydrogen only in arranged in manners no different arrangement so it is known as hydrocarbons so example of hydrocarbons are gasoline hydrocarbon liquid fuel kerosene diesel no uh, bunker so actually they are derived from the functional distillation of crude oil no and ang crude oil mo na anang virgin form sa oil no nag-extract from the oil rig no so pabukalon pa na siya na inig pabukal mo ana mixture man ang crude oil of different types of fuel no like for example liquid fuel natay gasoline kerosene diesel so lain lain ni sila og uh, boiling point so samtang giinit na nila ang crude oil so for example a temperature 37 degrees Celsius au oh, below 37 degrees Celsius mugawas ang mga fuel oils no or ang, ang liquefiable petroleum gas no LPG so below 37 mo reach na ang temperature of 37 degrees Celsius ang sunod mo bukal na isang gasoline so katong aso nga ni bukal at gasoline nila tong i-distilled no o ganang until such time maabot na sa dang temperature of 200 something degrees Celsius Nahurot na ugo evaporate ang gasoline mo evaporate na sad ang bitawag og diesel. Okay, until such time until such time mo reach na sad ang temperature nga mubukal na sad kay ang bunker. So that is called fractional distillation from the from the petroleum crude oil which is extracted from the oil rig. It is been boiled, no? So that uh, it will separate because lain-lain man sila boiling point ang mga substances ang gasoline, ang kerosene, ang diesel, ang bunker. So they will evaporate not at the same time, you know. They will evaporate one at a time depending sa temperature. 
na actual sa pagpabukal sa fractional distribution. Okay, so the the third type of a uh, third classification of fuel is gaseous. So gaseous fuel is still familiar because again it is in form of gas, no? Not liquid in gas. So the principal component principal component of a uh, gaseous fuel is still hydrocarbon with a symbol notation CNHM. No. So of course, example of uh, gaseous fuels are LPG, methane, uh, natural gas, kanang na sa Spratlys Islands nga waon sa China, uh, na natural gas sa silang itin. So these fuels are samples of gaseous fuel. So now that we have defined uh, the three classifications of fuels, we can now proceed to a more specific description of solid fuel. Again, no? Solid fuels are solid, no? Such as coal. So coal is the most familiar and most dominant among the types of uh, Solid fuel used in the industry, no, because coal is used in coal-fired power plants, no. It's used in some before it's used in trains, no. So the, the there are three methods of classifying coals. Three methods of classifying coals. Okay. First method is classification by rank. So like kahoy ba? Nakapalit na mong kahoy, no? Kaya gusto ko mo sa inyong mama, magluto mo buwad. Or magprito mo isda, anas kahoy, no? Of course, mamalit kag kahoy. Tanawin mo ang gitawag o sagay, no? Anang uga niya, paminaw ni mong daling masunog. Hindi ka mo pili atong murag buhi pa, no? May pili ni mo daghan pa to siya water content. Listo to siya i-combust, no? It's the same thing with coal, no? Coal also has different classifications and first is is the ranking it, no? Based sa kung unsa siya kasagayon, no? Kay naam say basa, basaon, so depende sa klase. First uh, uh, classification by rank. Okay. So according to According to fixed carbon content. So, yun na na kaya pun susantang. Uh, ikaw na malit sa kagkahoy, mamili d'yo ka katong dalirang siga, ya, paminaw ni mo, kanang dagkubukto, no? So, dugay mahurot. Or, depende sa mong gusto, no? Atong daily rich, atong mga rich kid, ito sila karilit. So, and calorific value in British thermal unit. So, this is the the uh, old way of generating power, no? Because we use steam, no? Long, long, uh, long, long time ago up to now, uh, our, in our country, we mostly rely in coal-fired power plants, no? As source of power electricity no so basically uh, some rich countries are now moving into nuclear power plants no? nuclear power plants you only need need a small amount of mass because according to Al albert einstein's mass and energy equivalence formula that energy is equal to the mass of the substance times the speed of light squared no and we all know that the speed of nine six speed of light squared is two nine nine seven nine two four five eight meter per second. No, so squared and ang value times sa mass. Bisa gamay pa kaya na siya ng mass. It times mo sa square sa speed of light. It will be a very very big value of energy. No? So that is why in the 1970s 1980s the use of nuclear power plants is already. Uh, 
widely used no among countries France, UK, Japan, Russia, Germany. So the South Korea. So if you will look at the trend, the countries who are rich today are nuclear powered in the beginning of the nuclear age, no? in the dawn of the nuclear power plant age, they already began the constructing the construction of their nuclear power plants, which is at the same time supposedly of our nuclear power plants. So these nuclear power plants uh, will, uh, kanang, since the energy is cheaper because it is, uh, we only need small amount of uranium to produce a lot of power because of the, of the E equals MC squared formula. Uh, it allowed countries to have a lower, kanang, kanang lower, cost for electricity. So kung lower cost sa electricity, lower sad ang auganahan mo invest ang mga investor, magtukod o mga planta o mga pabrika o mga production plants. So kung nagtukod o daghang mga production, mga pabrika, mga planta, daghang trabaho. No? So kung daghan sang trabaho, daghan sang tax. Kung daghang tax, dato ang gobyerno. So that is why those early adapters of nuclear power plants are rich into this standard no south korea japan those things no france united kingdom russia so dili man sila nagsuguro ka dato tanan no pero karon kay dako naman sila ginansya ana nga method sa ilang nuclear power plant they are now shifting the ang nakaginansya naman sila sa nuclear power plant so they are now investing into renewable energy plants no so, katong hali nila sa nuclear power plants, ilan ang i-invest of nuclear, ah, mga renewable energy plant. And renewable energy plant have a very, very expensive first cost, no? meaning it requires a huge capital no? to start. So, Britain, uh, UK, France, and some other of the early adapters of nuclear power plants are now shifting into renewable energy. No? They are now retiring there nuclear power plant. So kita mo, ada pa lang ta, no? So bago pa lang na-approve siguro ang plano nga i-rehab ang katong nuclear power plant sa Bataan. We are late. We are very late. So if it happens that the nuclear power plant had been operated in the 70s or in the 80s, we would be economically more better than what we are today. No? Because uh, and we might be uh, might be one of the richest countries in, in Asia, no? So if we remain to stick into the power of the nuclear power plant, and now we are discussing coal again because this is what Philippines is relying on coal. No? I don't know why, no? That's why the government need more engineers than lawyers. So, so based on the classification by rank, we have first. The highest is the anthracite. So, kung sa kahoy pa niya, muna siya pinakasagay. So, we have dali rang musunog, lisod na halingon, murasag uling ba? Nasay uling nga, basa, lisod kay halingon. Pero nasay uling nga, gaan, nindot kay tingog, no? Tagakta kay inig tingog sa inig dukduk ng musuling, hindi kay paminawang ba? So, monsa na siya, girank na siya. So, we have third, which is sub by two minus. No, kita, wala, ulihin na tayo ng nuclear power plant. Countries are now shifting to renewable energy. Kaya nakaginan siya naman siya last ang one. So, now, the last of the rank is lignite. Basa-basa na. Listen, bagahun. So the second method, first method pa na, classifying by rank. Second method is classification by grade. So nasa classification by grade. So ang classification by grade is determined by uh, size, calorific value, meaning kanang the amount of heat it produces while it is being combusted. Calorific value, ash softening, temperature, and sulfur. So, based on the different 
proportions of this mixture of the coal, it is been graded, no? Highly grade coal, low grade coal. The third method of classifying coal is uh, classification by type of variety. We are supposed to be richer than South Korea, no? But now they real South Korea and even Japan, no? Because after World War II, Japan is devastated a devastated country, no? It's it doesn't it does it needs to rebuild itself, no? Because it was uh, um, bombarded with nuclear bombs twice, no? And the amount, for example, in in Nagasaki, it on it. The, the the uranium use is only 0.6 grams no? 0.6 grams well you can about of one gram no 0.6 grams of uranium even wipe out the whole city of nagasaki no? so how much more is a kilogram of uranium no okay so that is why some ships no like uh, aircraft carriers of uh, us us army or us navy no are now nuclear powered so they can uh, run run non non stop one hand one non stop uh, rotating around uh, rotating around the world no the world the, the earth for a hundred years without stopping so that's how much that's how much nuclear power is in one aircraft carrier no it could go unfueled while running for uh, non-stop for 100 years. So that is why I have I have uh, a lot of hopes for nuclear power, but uh, I don't know because some of the owners of some of the owners of gasoline stations and gasoline businesses are sitting in the Congress so sitting in politics, no? Uh, that is why they are trying to bar the improvement of the society for the improvement of themselves. No? Themselves is more important than us. No? Their businesses are more important than us. So, classification by type of variety. So the first variety is we have agglomerating. So kung magtrabaho mo sa, no, sa Toledo power plant, which is a coal fire power plant here in, uh, in the west, west side of Cebu, so you will be familiar with this, no? And withering, agglomerating and non-withering. So what does agglomerating mean? Agglomerating meaning tibuok all, no? Tibuok, dili, 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 nang tinibuok all ba? Yeah, dili, non-withering, dili, ma, ma pak pak dayon, dili, ma, 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 nang ma disintegrate ang size dayon ba? So we also have agglomerating and withering. So tibog ul siya pero dali siyang mapakpak ang kilid. So we have non-agglomerating agglomerating and, uh, and non-withering. Okay, so China is not moving towards renewable energy, but they are still relying on nuclear power, but not by nuclear fission, but by nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is combining two lighter elements to form one, one larger element, which is the same nuclear process that is happening in the stars. So technically, China is creating artificial stars. No? So... They are moving towards a nuclear fusion, no? So instead of renewable energy. So moist BTU. So rippers to coal containing containing its moist. It's natural bed, natural bed moisture. 
containing its natural natural bed moisture. So, but not visible so moist btu kol gyap na siya nga umog no dili lang visible kun ang water not visible water pero containing is natural bed of moisture no visible but not visible water on the surface umog ra okay so moist so, kung sa kung sa kahoy pa na siya basa no basa ang kahoy so that's all about the classifications uh, of solid fuels, mostly coal, no? Coal, magina. So we also have liquid fuel. Okay, liquid fuel. So first of the liquid fuel is uh, fuel oils, no? So fuel oils, again, when we go back to the fractional distillation, all that evaporates below 37, 0.7 degrees Celsius are considered as fuel oils. 37.7 degrees Celsius. Evaporates. So, sa crude oil, kung yung mo nang pabukalan, yung mutanang ka sa thermometer, nga 37.7 na, anang niaso, ana, muna yung fuel oils, no? It could be condensed, no? It can be condensed uh, or liquefied, no? Okay, so muna sila, mga, mga, mga evaporate at below 37.7. So we have gasoline. So gasoline evaporates after 37.7 to 204.4 degrees Celsius. So ang gasoline sa mo evaporate anang a time. Okay. So then we have the kerosene. Then we have the diesel then the bunker so the bunker fuel is muna siya gamiton sa mga ships mga barko no kanang itom nga aso ba kanta yung nang iconic nga itom nga aso sa barko it's because kung ang barko naapa sa barato ra man yung bunker fuel ang barko naapa sa daplin sa daan diesel na ilang gamiton diesel para dili kayo itom mga aso ing nanas sila sa tunga tunga sa nanas sila sa tunga tunga sa dagat nanas sila sa loud ship na nilang ilahang uh, diesel fuel into bunker fuel munang itum na kaya ng yang aso barato ram na siya so liquid fuels also include alcohols so when you uh, kung nakita mo mga po sa Facebook ng ang, ang mga ang, ang Hidibra, the uban, so, no, inana mo kayo. Actually, alcohol is a fuel. So, when we drink, we are refueling our fuel. No? <laughs> so, we are refueling our tank, no, when we drink alcohol, no? So, in the gas use fuel, now we have LPG, which is used in the cooking in the house. We have natural gas, we have methane, so these are the most familiar types of uh, gaseous fuel, methane. Huh? So now, how how did, how, for example, nag, 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 kita sila oil, no? Or fuel, fuel. So, ilang analyze on sa component na. So, doha kam Duha ang kita duha ang maagi sa pag-analyze sa component sa fuel. Two methods. Two methods. Na this is very important. Two methods of composition analysis. So duha ang pamaagi sa pag-analyze sa composition sa fuel, no? One is known as the proximate analysis. So from the word, it's a proximate, kanang somewhere there, no? Proximate analysis. Marag approximation, ba? So proximate analysis doesn't 
really determine how much element kanang pilay carbon jud ani nga fuel pilay hydrogen no dili sila ka determine na approximate analysis can only determine analysis of the composition composition of fuel which gives Signet of this, no? Para na makaibaw mo proximate analysis or ultimate analysis ba na siya? Uh, which gives uh, on mass basis so by mass, yeah. So unit of mass ang mga unit ano eh. The relative amount amount of moisture content moisture content uh, volatile matter so dili siya specific na ang moisture content volatile matter it could be lpg no and, and, and it could be any uh, gaseous fuel pero dili siya ka determine kung unsa nga type of gaseous fuel gitawag lang niya volatile matter Fixed carbon, fixed carbon and ash. Okay, so this is for proximate analysis. This this simply determines how much is the moisture, how much is the gases nga plimabol nga ni excita ng fuel or nagcompose ng fuel. How much is the approximate carbon and ash? No, that is for proximate analysis. Now, the other one is called as the ultimate analysis. So in the ultimate analysis, specific amount of carbon, oxygen, and other components are really determined, sulfur. No? Ultimate or sometimes known as the chemical analysis. Okay. So uh, again, analysis of the composition Or fuel, which gives on mass basis gap on mass basis the 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 relative amount amount of specific yod, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen nitrogen sulfur ash so if you will look at the difference and moisture and moisture it's the only moisture okay so so for ultimate or sometimes known as chemical analysis specific percentage of elements are determined no carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur ash and moisture Compare it to the proximate analysis, which only uh, could analyze the amount of moisture content, the volatile matter, which is not specific of what is the element or what is the compound which consists of vol this volatile matter. This carbon is uh, understandable because the black salt of a fuel or something like that, Dali Romani analyze on carbon. And uh, so, Dili is not as specific as an ultimate analysis no so okay so now we will proceed uh, with uh, the necessary formulas you need to understand or uh, you need to familiarize to so that you could uh, competently solve problems involved in fuels and combustion so first we will start with the, uh, the the quantity of specific gravity so specific gravity is sometimes known as relative density. So because it is, for example, if this the specific gravity of a certain liquid, no, it's simply the ratio of the density of the liquid over the density of the standard. It is the standard for liquid water. It's the same density of liquid divided by density of water. So for air, 
or for example gas so you you are asked to find the specific gravity of a certain gas again is density of the gas that gas over density of the standard which is what is the standard for gas air so it's the density of the gas divided by the density of air so that will be our definition for specific gravity now we will proceed with api you no know, degrees api american petroleum institute no and balmy and balmy units balmy gravity units so if as much as possible when it is up when when we are you no in our time we memorize these things so i don't su suggest I suggest you familiarize, but if you can memorize the better, no? but in our time we memorize this. So for the degrees EPI, this is one for 1.5 over SG at 15.16, because it will not be given. Can you go this as a board exam, direct substitution? So the question is, did you memorize the formula? If not, goodbye. Okay, so this is the formula for the 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 degree CPI, no? So the specific gravity, uh, okay, in gravity units. Nisha. So technically, na given degree CPI, so normally, ang solbo na ni is ang specific gravity of the substance at 15.6 degrees Celsius. Why? Oh, sige lang, go on ta na run. So we have also Baumi. So degrees Baumi is equal to API and Baumi gravity units. Yeah, degrees na, degrees API, degrees Baumi. So for degrees Baumi, we have 140 over SG at 15.6. 15.6 today, delay 16, sorry. Okay, so we have 15 SG at 15.6 minus 130. So ang degrees Baumi is also used, may, Kung kani siya gibin, madakpan tani. Anong dakpon man ang SG at 15.6? Okay, because when we find each liquid at different temperatures, mausab ang mausab ang iyahang specific gravity because kung imainit ang mga liquid, mo expand ba na siya? Kung in-expand sa molecule sa liquid, what will happen to the density? It will become lighter. No? expand man so therefore there will be less amount of molecules for a certain number of volume no because of the heating process so degrees and degrees epi and degrees baumi standardized the specific gravity of liquids at at 15.6 degrees celsius because if pa, kung kay kung naatay degrees epi and degrees baumi Makuha na to ang specific gravity of that liquid at 15.6 degrees Celsius. Makuha na to ang specific gravity sa kana ng liquid at any temperatures kung naataan ni. Because of this formula. Specific gravity of that liquid at certain temperature is equal to SG at 15.6 degrees Celsius. So, kini. Tara, tara. Mani siya. Na. Kini, ni. Na. So, ang API o ang Baumi tanang liquid ilahang gi set at specific gravity 15.6 ha so that kung naana kay naana kay is g at 15.6 makuha nato ang specific gravity sa liquid at any temperature using this formula 1 minus okay so by using degrees Baumi and degrees EPI, which is a standard, by finding the specific gravity of liquids at 15.6 degrees in, in degree Celsius, then if we are given with a certain temperature, we could find the specific gravity of that liquid at certain temperature using this formula. So now the temperature will no longer be a hard problem for us to solve, no, because at different temperatures, the specific gravity of liquids changes no? because of the expansion and the, the for example a cooling liquid they tend to 
contract no or mo compact sila therefore the 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 uh the density increases no when heating mo expansion so the density light mo lighten no so mo na siya kinahanglan ta ni API and Baumi gravity units memorize okay so so what what is API used this is for petroleum products for petroleum nga mga liquids for pet petroleum nga mga liquids or kini ang gamiton API American Petroleum Institute ha for for brine for brine can a solution of uh, uh, water and and si water and uh, water no si uh, the solution of salt and water no so brine so this for petroleum products we normally go for epi because that is what we are trying to find the specific gravity of the fuel no at a certain temperature okay so now let's proceed to the concept of heating value. So heating value is the amount of heat when is the amount of heat no when combusting one kilogram of fuel. The symbol is QH. So kung na kay one kilogram of fuel, niya imo na siyang sunogun. The amount of energy that is produced no, in kilojoules, no, energy man. Therefore, that is heating value. So kung mag, mag, magsunog ka og one kilogram nga gasolina, one kilogram nga diesel, one kilogram nga uling, one kilogram nga coal, then line na sila mo produce nga amount of heat. Therefore, then line sila heating value. Huh? So, now, uh, we have to determine the heating value of the fuel. No? First, in determining determining heating value, QH. Okay, so first formula for QH is the Dulong's formula, which memorize yapon. Okay, so Dulong's formula QH is equal to now Dulong's formula could be used when when there is a result of ultimate analysis. Okay, so meaning ana ang ang ultimate analysis di ba ma determine mo to specific amount of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur, no? So you will use that certain amount of percentage in the ultimate analysis to determine the heating value of that you will, no? So kung nakay you will yung kay bawo kapilay carbon, pilay hydrogen, pilay oxygen, pilay sulfur, may bawo ani mo pilay heating value. Okay, pero katong mga proportions, so mga percentage, mga ratio sa or mga fraction sa uh, elements, no? Gihatag to na, na arrive to due to ultimate analysis. So, muna siya. 33, 8, 20C plus 144, 2, 1, 2 H minus O over 8 plus 9304s so this is an an empirical formula so in an empirical formula don't do anything but memorize 9304 times sulfur okay so fractions na siya fractions so ang unit ani is in kilojoules per per kilogram so meaning at different fuels nga lain lain of carbon hydrogen oxygen ng lain lain sa amount of heat nga ma-release niya in 1 kilogram or energy nga ma-release niya in 1 kilogram so this is the first no the dulong's 
Dolong's formula. Joto, derived Joto, ultimate analysis unit, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur. Okay. So, aside from the Dolong's formula, there is also another formula for determining QH, Delira Dolong's, no? So, we also have the Ask Me formula. American Society of Mechanical Engineers formula for finding QH. So do longs nya ask me. So QH for for ask me is forty one thousand one hundred thirty plus one three nine point six times degrees API. Uh, still the unit is kilojoules per kilogram. Now, in the event nga given ang specific gravity at 15.6, masolve na nimo ang API. Once nasolve na nimo ang API, degrees API, pwede na nimo masolve ang heating value ana nga fuel. No? So, nindot kaya ito, kinahalang inyo gitong master ron itong degrees API nga formula o sa baong nga formula. Particularly, most specially, kanyang degrees API. Kung ultimate analysis, do longs, kung using degree CPI, ask me. So, mauna siya. So, na pag ikatulo. So, itawag o Bureau Standard. Bureau of Standards. So, tulo ang, tulo ang formula nga mo determine sa heating value. Do longs. Ask me, Bureau of Standards. So, ang Bureau of Standards is 51,716 minus 8793.8. You have no other choice in this. Memorize. Times the specific gravity of that liquid squared. Still, the unit is in kilojoules per kilogram. Now, instead of the degrees EPI, ang given the rate specific gravity of that liquid at certain temperature. Two. Kung, again, kung nakakaling specific gravity at temperature at, at certain temperature, i-plug in mo diri sa Bureau of Standards na problem na determine mo ang hitting value sa fuel. Okay. So, klaro na. Ang tulo ka formula in determining hitting value. No? Hitting value. Okay. Tulo ka formula. Do long, ask me, Bureau of Standards. Okay, so now we will discuss what is a higher heating value. So, oak ang lower heating value. So, remember that from the definition, kung sunugun ni mo ang, ang, ang coal, no? sunugun ni mo ang 1 kilogram sa coal, ang heat nga maproduce sa katong 1 kilogram ng coal, motoy, Motoy yang energy no, mga produce. So therefore, motoy yang hitting value. Aron, what if ang, 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 imuhang, for example, ang fuel, di mo ginamali kaya na amin na siya products of combustion. Like for example, gasoline. No? Gasoline plus air produces carbon dioxide and water molecule and excess air. No, muna siya. So of course, na ay water molecule as byproduct of the process of combustion. Karon, kanang water molecule by nya yeah, remember nagsunog tag 1 kg of gasoline, no? For example, ana given the density of gasoline. Karon ni produce og certain amount of water molecule as byproduct of combustion. So karon, ang water molecule ni absorb og heat sa pag combustion therefore ni vaporize siya kay naka-absorb siya heat therefore ang original nga heat release during the combustion mo lower siya because na-absorb man ang heat sa katong moisture sa liquid no therefore ni reduce ang heat sa combustion so kitawag na siya lower heating value when the water molecule as product of combustion combustion 
in vapor form. Vapor state. So, kung vapor ang state sa kanang water nga ni-exit as byproduct of combustion, meaning na lower heating value na siya kay ang ang heat nga during combustion ni bugna man siya kay absorb man siya sa water molecule mao kay ni ni vaporize siya kay naka-absorb siya heat liquid man na siya ato nya ka absorb siya heat ni vaporize siya dapat ang original heat ni reduce lower heating value na siya ang higher heating value is when the water molecule as a product of combustion product 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 of combustion is liquid state. So meaning ana during combustion, nya liquid state ang nigawas. Wala ni absorb ang katong liquid, ang katong water molecule o heat gikan sa original nga heat source para mo vaporize siya. Ay liquid form ng gas pressure. Therefore, katong original nga heat source is Hi, no? Kaya wala man siya giabsorban, gikawatan o init sa water molecule para mo change siya o pace. So that is the difference between a higher heating value and a lower heating value. Masa na orasa? Masa na orasa, anybody? 201, sir. Nalas 2-1. Ano sa kita, Kutub? Alas 3, sir. Oh, happy tata. So, ang difference sa heat, ang difference sa katong higher heating value, for example, the same gasoline we are talking, oh, na higher heating value. For example, scenario wherein ang byproducts sa combustion, wala na absorb heat, therefore higher heating value siya. Na ay certain instances, nga pagsurong na to sa 1 kg sa gasoline, na lower heating value siya, kaya before state ang na-exit na water molecule, kaya absorb siya of heat sa, sa original source of heat. So, ang difference sa higher heating value minus the lower heating value of the same, the same fuel nga yung combust is given by the formula muna siya. Okay. Where H2 is equal to 26 minus 15 times specific gravity in percent so so kini siya pid ini mo diri nya na am constant man siya so kung given ang usa ni niya makuha nimo higher heating value or kung given nang pikas makuha sa nimo sila okay so basically that is the difference between Higher, higher heating value and lower heating value. Okay, so now we will talk about combustion. So now we talk about fuel no? and how to analyze the component of fuel, tomatoes, no? using proximate analysis or using ultimate analysis which will specifically determine the elements no proportions of elements in the in the fuel no so fuels have different heating value no so 1 kilogram of fuel of coal is uh, when combusted produces different amount of heat than combusting gasoline 1 kilogram of gasoline or 1 kilogram of lpg so those are heating value so heating value could be determined by three formulas. The Dulong's formula, which uses the result of the ultimate analysis. The ASME formula, which uses the degrees EPI, which is given, previously given. And the Bureau of Standard, which is a formula using specific gravity of the flow of the liquid or the fuel itself. No? So therefore, uh, you will determine the heating value. Now let's proceed to combustion. Ito sa fuels. Ito sa combustion. So combustion is a chemical reaction in 
is a chemical reaction between fuel, air, fuel and air, which is accompany, accompanied, accompanied by heat and light. Okay, so combustion like kanang fire ba, no? So when there is fire, there is fuel and there is air, of course, accompanied by heat and of course, na light, hayag ang fire, no? So then we will start discussing the concepts involved in combustion. First concept that you need to learn is the concept of theoretical air. So Theoretical air, also termed as stoichiometric air. So meaning it is a perfect amount in moles of air that is that could produce a perfect combustion. No? Also termed as stoichiometric, stoichiometric air is the minimum amount Supposedly, mo ganing theoretical ni siya nga air, it's because it's assumed to be perfect, no? Wala excess air. Ang nisood, right? For example, nagsunog ka kayo, ang air, right? Nga nisood is zero-zero, right? Mo gito kinanglan niya. No? Uh, the amount of air needed to uh, produce a complete combustion. So when we say a complete combustion, complete combustion, combustion of fuel. When you say a complete combustion of fuel, meaning the byproduct of that combust combustion is purely, purely carbon dioxide and water molecule. No? Assuming that the amount of air is enough for that combustion. Kaya kung daily, magawas ang excess air. Kaya di naman ito mo-react ang excess air. Kaya kompleto naman. Naroon may ka ng law of definite proportion ba sa chemistry. So meaning, a molecule can only react at a certain proportion. It, it is deemed to be stable. Ang katong excess reactants will now exit to the reaction. So, Meaning, a complete combustion produces only high carbon dioxide as byproduct plus water molecule. No, what is an incomplete combustion? Therefore, incomplete combustion produces carbon, which is unburned carbon. Kanang kandila ba? Kandila. So, yun ang butangan ng plato ang ibabaw sa kandila na itum ano os no? Anang ano os kanang black soot is carbon. It's an unburned carbon. Meaning, the combustion that occurs in the candle is not perfect because there is a, there is carbon, unburned carbon. Because again, the product of the byproduct of perfect combustion is only carbon dioxide, which is an odorless, tasteless gas, and a water molecule. No, again, every one of you is, of course. Uh, uh, familiar with water, no? Once it produces carbon and burn soot or carbon monoxide, kanang magsunog mo og, kanang sagbot nga dahon, kanang magsunog mo og grass, no? Kanang aso nga sakit ginhawaon, maunay carbon monoxide. So it is also a byproduct, it is a sign that the combustion that, that is occurring is not complete, meaning kuwang og oxygen kay CO2 may stable ang compound ang carbon monoxide so ang CO2 dili ta mapoison kay stable man siya ang compound dili naman na siya mo react ang carbon monoxide kuwang siya usa ka oxygen so mo nang kung naay sunog nay na, di ba naay sunog dire na sunog ang bay so kung carbon carbon dioxide pa na siya di ka kita ana odorless tasteless colorless gas man na karon kay pagsunog sa kahoy pagsunog sa kisami kay puti man nga aso 
Nya sakit ginawaon that is carbon monoxide that is the one that kills because again remember carbon monoxide lacks oxygen kin mangita siya paagi nga mahimo siyang carbon dioxide no so ang buhato ni carbon monoxide musod sa imong lungs kuhaon niya ang imong oxygen sa lungs mao nang mao nang mahibong tabang nga nuwa man siya kasi tibat nga ang kayo maagwantar man mudagan ra man ta maka makalapos nitas kayo mudagan ra kita pero actually 90% nga death because of fire accident is because of the inhalation of carbon monoxide once na inhale nimo ang carbon monoxide it will react to the oxygen in your lungs therefore making you unable to breathe and when you are unable to breathe you will pass out no once na kuya pa na ka masunog na ka maluto na ka mo na sa hinungdan mo nang kasagaran during fire nganong na mamatay gyud nga pwede ra magyud unta nang mudagan ka musibat ka but actually the fire is not the actually the one that is dangerous 90% of the time the thing that is dangerous is the carbon monoxide no okay so the showing of carbon and carbon monoxide as byproduct of combustion denotes that the combustion that occurs is not complete mura gani pasabot ana ang excess air mo tay di na makita ang excess air Okay, so we are done with the concept of the theoretical air. Nasa tay, the concept sa theoretical air fuel ratio. So the concept of theoretical air air fuel ratio, the exact, the exact. So I I I will assume that ah you will you will not only ah kanang memorize. I'll familiarize these formulas, but as much as possible, you you you're not only familiarize these formulas, but as much as possible, you memorize them. As determine. So mo nang kung naay sunog ba? Dili ka magbarug. Kay ang nasa babaw, kay ang carbon monoxide, ano man siya ang punok sa babaw ba? Dagan na siya sa babaw. Kay light man siya. Light, lighter than air man siya. So when it is lighter than air, it tends to be more more lighter than air. No? So, ibabaw siya sa air. So nasa sa babaw. So technically, kung nagbarog ka, makahigup siya ganun niya. So, kung sa may buhato ni mo, kung, kung naisunog, mukupo ka. Kaya ang oxygen na sa ubos. Kaya ang oxygen is heavier than carbon monoxide. No? So man siya. Determine as determine as mo theoretical air fuel ratio the exact amount as determined from combustion reaction of air needed. To burn a unit amount of fuel a unit amount of fuel so theoretical air fuel ratio is the amount of air in kilograms that is enough to completely produce complete byproducts of combustion but in combusting and reacting with one kilogram of fuel so ang unit ano niya is kilogram air per kilogram fuel. So it's the amount, the X amount, the X amount of air uh, that uh, will react with one kilogram of fuel to produce a complete combustion. No? Complete combustion. So that is why it is called the theoretical air fuel ratio. No? So Theoretical air fuel ratio mathematically is mass of air divided by mass of fuel. Again, the unit is kilogram of air per kilogram fuel. Okay. So, if there is a theoretical air fuel ratio, there is also what is known as the actual 
air fuel ratio because the actual is not theoretical no is it understand so what happens in reality is what is known as the actual air fuel ratio so so actual air fuel ratio plus the excess air okay so technically normally ang combustion that occurs in furnaces or internal combustion engine ka uh, can have kanang kwa ano kanang doha mana actually kanang ang 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 fuel may kuwang daghan ng oxygen or ang 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 oxygen da, ah, ang fuel kuwang daghan ng oxygen or gamay ang oxygen daghan ng fuel no doha naka ang actual reaction limiting reactant o limiting product so kini lang sa mga combustion process i assume lang nato nga ang excess is ang air nga na, na, ay, na ay theoretical combustion plus the unborn oxygen Muna siya. So, actual air fuel ratio, mathematically, air fuel ratio is equal to theoretical air fuel ratio plus percent excess in air times theoretical air fuel ratio. So, the in many siya gikuha is from uh, the excess air is equal to actual air fuel ratio minus theoretical air fuel ratio divided by theoretical theoretical air fuel ratio so kung imo ni siyang kung imo ning solve no kini mo cross multiply diri kana no then kini mo balhin sa pikas ma add okay equals kana no so kini siya so, kung may yung sila percent excess air, excess air or percent E, ang E, or percent E, kini siya, times na nang mag-100. Kung ano ang percent E. Okay. Or E percent. Depende na nang mo, no? So, now that we have discussed the, per, the concept of theoretical air fuel ratio and actual air fuel ratio, we will now proceed with the basic combustion of fuel reaction, no? combustion reaction involving fuel and air. So, happy to tayo human. Next meeting na lang tayo mag-sample problem. Importante nakuha ninyo ang concept pero. Okay, so fuel plus air will result to products of combustion. Oh, reactants products no? in your chemical reaction. Okay, so we have the theoretical balance versus we have the theoretical balance, no? Theoretical balance of the reaction of fuel and air. So fuel normally is, for example, our fuel is in our internal combustion is Normally, gasoline or liquid or gaseous LPG. Kaya pwede man ang LPG fuel sa internal combustion engine. So, normally, it is hydrocarbon, CNHM, plus X amount of O2 plus 3.76 in 2. So, before when you go back to chemistry, there is what is known as moles, no? Moles. Okay, so the number of moles will determine how many molecules of that molecule will react to a certain molecule to produce a certain molecule, certain number of molecule. So here, one CNHM molecule or one mole of uh, hydrocarbon fuel, na siya one ray imaginary, no? Plus the X mole amount, X number of mole amount of air. So, okay, so then I get can ang Ang um, sige lang ato nang ato nang kuan di nagi ka ng 37 ni air ni siya air. Ani fuel. 
Okay. So it will produce, assuming that this is theoretical combustion, this will produce a uh, y mole amount of carbon dioxide plus z mole amount of water molecule plus x amount of uh, 3.76 in 2. Remember that the nitrogen will not react and it will just exit into the combustion. So this is the products of combustion. Assuming this is theoretical. So we will only deal here, deal here the perfect combustion and the combustion with excess air. Okay. So this is the theoretical balance. So we also have actual balance using excess air. So meaning, ang air nga ni enter sa imong engine is more than sa number of fuel. No? So therefore, ang, ang katong air, ano may karya kan? Exit siya. No? Exit siya. So again, we have the fuel which is uh, hydrocarbon sa NHM plus X times 1 plus E times O2 plus 3.76 N2. Because there is a certain excess amount of air, no? So, will yield, yields uh, Y amount of CO2 plus Z amount of water molecule plus X times 1 plus E of nitrogen plus the excess air, which is X times E times O2. So, this is the actual balance using excess air. So, we will be normally dealing with these two theoretical balance and the actual balance using excess air in our calculation. So we will have the general notes, no? notes. So we have air by volume consists of 21% O2 plus 79% in 2. So therefore, kung imong i-divide, 79 divided by 21, so we have 3.76 in 2 for every 1 o 2. So muna siyang air has 1, 1 moles of oxygen and 3.76 moles of uh, nitrogen. No? It is derived from air by volume. So, air by mass is 23.2% O2 plus 76.8% in 2. That is in by mass, no? 3, the molecular weight of air is 28.2%. 97 kilogram kilogram of uh, kilogram per one mole of air. So in every one mole of air, which is the Avogadro's number. So for example, if you have one Avogadro's number of air, what is Avogadro's number? 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules of air. That is one mole of air which is equal to one Avogadro's number of air. And when you gather one Avogadro's number molecules of air, you will, it will have a weight of 28.97 kilograms. So that will be the molecular weight of air. So, combustion of solid fuel. with known ultimate analysis. So we have the theoretical, we could also solve the theoretical air, air fuel ratio using the results of ultimate analysis again, using carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. So using the ultimate analysis result, we have the formula for theoretical air fuel ratio of 11.5 C 
plus 34.5 times H minus O over 8 plus 4.3 S. So this, this C, H, O, and S is derived from the ultimate analysis. No? Okay. So last, the molecular weights of the uh, elements and molecules involved in combustion. We have carbon 12 kilograms per mole. We have nitrogen 28. We have hydrogen 2. We have sulfur 32 and oxygen 2. Or oxygen gas. Oxygen nga ato motong O. Oxygen nga oxygen nga gas mo siyang O2 this is 32 16 ra tong O okay so this is all in kilograms per mole so that's all our that's all our kanang discussion